12 and a half get you a quarterback I got them shits flying like spirals I like my true fun sensor To who yeah. has marijuana and who it is and, and all that yeah, one point three million dollars on a jet. That's a lot of. It was like one. Weed. How much was uh Rallo? Was probably not even that much. Close to maybe about the same. And it was on a jet, same as that. Yeah, game. probably about the same. Yeah, so yeah, that's wild. Wow. Yes, sir. So that is kind of what it is, man. But you know, you tune into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother, Oh God and Sam, man. Going in today on this Tuesday. Make sure you tune in Friday night, eight p.m. If you want to catch us live on the Uncensored Truth podcast channel, right on YouTube. It'll be eight p.m. Eastern. Standard time each and every Friday. Make sure you check us out there. Oh, God, man, before we get up out of here, I don't know if you saw that picture. Matter of fact, I sent it to your future. Oh, yeah. And it's his baby's holding up the money, man. Now, he's taking a lot of, of slack for this, and I wanted to talk about it, but I wanted to be careful because these are pictures of his babies, man. But you saw it, people up on the screen. If we just choose to drop this on YouTube, they see it up there now. What do you think about this, man? Does mm -hmm. he deserve to take flat for it? DJ Quick said, one of the greatest DJs of all time unacceptable man this is uncalled for you don't throw yeah. this up there's a bad example a lot of people throwing jabs as far as sierra and russell mm. yeah it, it is it is i mean in my opinion but you gotta remember you got people all across america that they have parents who they, that raise them a certain way that you got little kids um i seen kids twerking doing all types of stuff kids smoking whatever drinking and stuff like that little kids just like the, you know the age of his son you know, doing all types of stuff. So it's just like, it's not surprising to see somebody like Future that would do something like that. You know, now we have been very critical of him because he pretty much promoted, you know, um, stuff that's um, killing people by the millions in this country. He promoted it widespread and then was, was, wasn't even man enough when he stopped using to come out and tell the people that he stopped using it at the end of the day. So you know, I'm not surprised by this, man. So I think the criticism is definitely due for future. And I don't know when that dude's gonna learn. To me, I really don't rock with future like that, man. I don't have nothing against his music and all like that, but I just don't like what he represents. Hey, yeah, man. Um, as far as his kids are concerned, it this is the thing that bothers me about this because we we gotta do the commentary. We're gonna do the commentary. We got like yeah, it is what it is. But the kids ain't none of our business. Now, how you raise your children is none of our business. But in this day and age with social media and everybody's out here looking for some kind of notoriety or or, or somebody wanting to be jealous of this or that, mm -hmm. they post every fucking thing. And a, a situation where we shouldn't even be talking about it, we're talking about it because he needed that notoriety. Mm -hmm. And man, like you said, when, when will people learn now? We've been critical of future before in the past. I think it was justifiably so when he was perpetuating what he was perpetuating to the children. And when you've seen the enormous amount of people and, and young children dying from this, and you look at the young crop of rappers right now going through what they're going through, mm -hmm. dealing with this addiction, primarily because of listening. I mean, let's call it for what it is, not just only him. Right, right, right. But he was one oh, of the history, yeah. You know what I mean? Pioneer of it. So, or, or one of the driving forces, not pioneer. Right, so, right. I mean, I just feel like throughout this time, you would see the air of your ways and just evolve a little bit. It doesn't seem like he's doing so. It seems like he's cool where he's at. I mean, like you said, people, they raised the way they were raised. They're going to do what they do. Yeah. And like, you would wish like, that they would evolve and do better at that point. I mean, yeah. Cause like what Jay said, it's like, it's like, you know, whatever the message is, you know, people who got real money and not really showing it like that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm not saying he, he's obviously a millionaire, but you don't see, you know, prominent billionaires. They got all the money in the world. You don't see them doing stuff like this. So, you know, the Roth, you know, what a Rothschild look like. You know what a Rockefeller look like? You know what they kids look like? Nah, you know what I'm not a home. damn soul. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. You know, again, this is his, this is his, I think his son. You know there. Yeah, there's two boys. It look like. Yeah, you know, just having fun as kids, but they don't know no better. But you know, what I mean, whatever. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. That's all I got, man. Yeah, man, definitely another episode of the Unset the Truth podcast is in the books. Like I said, make sure y'all tune in on Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're on the way out of here blazing to the tunes of my man Red609. Make sure you check him out on iTunes, Spotify, or Google Play. I love my truth uncensored, man. Another episode in the book, Sam, man. We out of here, man. We out of here, man. See you Thursday and, of course, Friday live exclusively on the Uncensored Truth Podcast official channel. You make sure you stay tuned to the network. We got big news coming your way soon. Yeah. You never know what you're going to expect from the brothers over here from Viral Hip Hop News, Hip Hop News Uncensored. Together, we are the Uncensored Truth Podcast. Yeah. You're now tuned into the You already know. We out of here. Yeah. Tell them motherfuckers
like this. delivery service. Now, along with giving the employee ten thousand dollars, Amazon would give the employees three months gross salary to deliver packages for Amazon. A spokesperson for the company said the service program was already being set up by their continued investment in our delivery service partner, Network Aids. Our ability to deliver to consumers faster. If a delivery service owner is running 20 to 30 delivery vans, they can possibly net $75,000 to $300,000 in profit, according to Amazon. So essentially, Amazon is paying people, you know, their employees first, you know, to start their own companies, man, and giving them money to do it. Because as I don't know if everybody that's watching this, you're seeing the prime vans all over. Yeah. I just ordered from Amazon. They are now trying to compete with the postal service, UPS. But when you think about this, though, Sam, man, amazing. It's huge. What do we talk about, man? When we became entrepreneurs and when we before that, when we were aspiring entrepreneurs, but we were sitting in the work world doing nine to five. One of our biggest gripes were just employee appreciation and yeah, how the yeah. manager really didn't appreciate us enough, didn't put value on that. We both had jobs where we would 100 fucking percent, 100,000 percent undervalued, underappreciated. And that wore on us. Mm -hmm. that made us kind of gripe and go just a little less hard than we could have went at that job and performance went down there's no doubt about it mm -hmm. you could have went hard i could have went harder it could have been better imagine being a bonus incentive where you know you can go and get this or this this is going on so you can get this amount of time or it's a lot more freedom involved and it makes you inspired to go to work mm -hmm. amazon sees the bigger picture and they're putting their money where their mouth is giving people opportunities to go to work and be happy right which the, the you gotta your, your employees have to have the right morale so yeah. if they're excited about what they're doing and then they're telling this person telling this person you're gonna slowly suck everybody else dry like they did towards our us like they're doing best buy right and now they're seeming to do it to the postal service fedex ups we've seen the fedex dude just drop something off a couple of minutes ago he was stressed <laughs> the fuck out so yeah. i mean amazon's doing great things right now yeah it's big and it's like um a lot of criticism <laughs> that other companies would get like you got bigger companies out there like Walmart. They don't, you know, pass down, you know, the benefits. Even Uber. A lot of people are complaining about Uber drivers mm -hmm. now. They were saying that the CEO made like $175 million and employees can you know barely put food on their table. So it's just like a lot of your big companies don't, you know, um redistribute the wealth is the proper term that they're making. You got billion dollar companies, trillion dollar companies, Apple's like Apple should be, you know, not to say that they aren't distributing their wealth all the way down to the damn janitor mm -hmm. the person that cleans up gum off the sidewalk right should be compensated well and um it'll reflect like you said with the morale of the company so i you know it sounds real great um if i was work for, working for amazon this is a, are they give you an opportunity to start a business like this is huge man like, like not you know you know yeah it's you're contracting but this is your own business on, on paperwork and you know you, you're making seventy five thousand to three hundred thousand dollars per year I mean that that's great. That's it's great. Yeah, it's great for the economy. It's great for morale. Yeah, that's what we need to see out here. It, it's inspiring, like a motherfucker. And you you still have a market for UPS and FedEx. They're not going anywhere anytime soon, especially when you got there's in many numbers of online deliveries. Not everyone buys through Amazon. Not yet. Right. So when you when you buy outside of Amazon, you still need your stuff delivered. These people will, will start being able to. I mean, still service them people, but. When it comes to employing motherfuckers mm -hmm. and you got a place over here flourishing, you better start taking care of your people a little better or sooner than later, you yeah. will go out of business. I mean, and yeah. that just is what it is. That was a great segment, man, for sure. Shout out to Amazon. Yeah. Indeed. And you were talking about Uber. We've seen um, Beyonce. We don't know if that's 100 percent confirmed, but I'm pretty sure that's confirmed because I know how crazy those investments are. Three hundred million this year or she's making a year off of Uber investments alone. Oh, God. Wow. What do you think about that, man? We're talking about this wealth and, and growing wealth and abundance and things like that. And 300 million just. I, th I think it's amazing um, when I see, you know, people like Jay-Z, Beyonce, um, especially just to start with Jay-Z and even Beyonce, when we kind of started seeing them at the inception of their career when they were younger and mm -hmm. they were with different groups and Jay-Z with the Rockefeller, to see them now, 10, 15 years later, their senior, like, you know, um, more years down the road, excuse me. It's just like it's amazing to see that both of them are now worth a billion. They could have never. I bet you they could have never imagined. We could have never imagined right. that somebody from even hip hop is taking a while for the, for somebody to be a billionaire. So I have to just salute, you know, her people like um I forgot who who they talking about the other day. Drake, 
even Drake is making some real great investments, has some um, real great businesses on the side. So, you know, it's, it's encouraging, man. For me, it's just like. Tuned into the greatest Motherfucker, you ain't never lie If them people watching us like YouTube Then tell them motherfuckers 